Hey guys, back with another video. Today I, get, I want to take you through the step-by-step -step process of how I get a flight plan from Sky Vector into X-Plane 11. I get some questions about this. I just want to show you how simple it is to do. You're going to need a little tool, which I'm going to show you in a second. So I'm in Sky Vector here, and I use my normal process to set up my flight plan with, you know, airports and GPS waypoints and stuff like that. So that's all pretty straightforward. Then what I do is I hit this little icon right here, okay? And you can see I have different capabilities of exporting. I use the FPL. There's no FMS export in Sky Vector. So I use, do this and I basically hit download and it puts it in my, to my download file. So I have this right here. If I open this up, you can see I can't open it, right? So what I do is there's this little um, converter that you can get on xplane.org. It's the FPL to FMS converter, okay? It's a free, I'm not sure if the, if the developer has a donation, but if he, if he or she does, you probably should give, her, give him a few bucks because it's a really great tool. Okay, so once you download that, you load that up, okay? And it asks you basically to load in the FPL, which you do, okay? And then you just simply save it. And you can see it just showed up right here. And I open this up and you can see this is exactly the format that you want in FMS. Now, once you have that... You open up your program files, X-Plane 11 output FMS plans. I have it as set up as a shortcut on my desktop because I do this so often. And all you do is you just drag that in there. And now when you open up your, your GPS, whichever GPS it is, as long as it supports uh, FMS plans, you open that up and boom, you can pull it right into your GPS. It makes it much simpler than fiddling with like a G1000 or even a 530. Even though a 530 is easy to use, this is so much easier, especially when you've got like 10 different things to enter. It just makes it so much easier. So that's the process I use to do that integration. I hope that was helpful. Hit the like button if you like what you saw. And don't forget to subscribe to Bambino Games for more X-Plane 11 tips and flights. Have a great day.